Hey, how's it going, guys? Today, I am going to be reviewing a game called Evil Apples, which is basically the mobile version of Cards Against Humanity. If you don't know what Cards Against Humanity is, you are missing out. It's a hilarious game where basically you and several of the players in this game, up to five, will compete against each other where... Everyone has their own deck of cards where they are given a handful of cards. I think it's seven or eight cards to begin with. And every round there is a question that you will need to use one of the cards in your hand to answer. Or it may be a sentence in which you need to use one of the cards in your hand to fill the blank. Each round there is one person who cannot put in a card and who has to choose the funniest answer that they feel uh, out of the people who did answer so you you could have up to four people answering the the one question or filling in the blank at once you pick the funniest one uh, you get rewarded a couple of coins for answering or or forgetting for an <laughs> jesus christ forgetting your answer picked you get a couple of coins and you will get more coins again if you were the one to win the game the first person to win uh seven rounds wins the game there's a couple of uh, different modes as well. Uh, Bizarro, where the questions are the answers. So the, the tables are switched. You get given questions and y you need to put in the question where the... the I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Sorry. But there's, there's a couple of different modes you can choose to play from. Uh, you can add friends. You can make private rooms. Uh, which is a lot of fun, especially when yous are all talking over Discord and yous get to laugh and shit. The answers that the judge is choosing from are anonymous and aren't revealed until the answer is chosen. So out of the, the decks you were given, uh, you can go through and buy these select decks through either cake, which is freely given to you, or coins, which you can earn. Uh, all the decks have different themes. It tells you how many cards are in the decks. Um, so, oh, oh, hey, I'm interested in fucking Pokemon. Let's check this out. So 295 coins uh, for, what, fucking, like, 30 cards or something. It gives you a little uh, preview of some of the cards that are within the deck. So you go through. The, the more rounds you win, the more games you win, the more coins you get. Uh, the more decks you're able to add, and then you can tailor which decks you want to turn on and off um, if you decide you dislike a deck. You can um, go to the shop and obviously buy the in-game currency if you so wish, or you can also buy some more uh, boosters to the game to enhance your experience and make it more enjoyable, such as getting bigger hands or... Uh, Get, getting more coins for your your wins and and stuff like that um it, it it's a pretty fun game it's a lot of laugh laughs especially if you're having a few drinks or if you know the people you're playing with uh it becomes particularly funny like i said over discord it's it's a lot of fun you can't go wrong with this game it's completely free you do not have to spend a single cent on it uh, of real life money if, if you do not wish to. Uh, I've spent a couple of euros on the game just because I've enjoyed it so much. I'd, I'd like to support the creators and it also obviously uh, gave me a little bit of cash to, to get some more decks that I wanted. So fuck it, I'm, I'm gonna jump in a game here and just kind of show you what it's all about. Cla Classic is really the only game I play. So there it is. On road trips, my family plays this game uh, we made up called What? I have to fill in the blank. Um, I've got some a uh, bunch of different cards from a bunch of the different decks. Um, <laughs> sometimes you're gonna have absolutely nothing to suit. Sometimes you're gonna have something that is fucking hilarious within the game. You can uh, ditch some of the cards out of your hand using the trash pile. You can create your own card, which also costs money. But if you're confident, will win the round. It uh. It, it could win you the game um, you can turn the decks on and off and access the shop while you're also mid game so 
Let's let's go with drinking out the fucking toilet. Not the best answer. So here are the other players um uh, answers and we have twenty four seventy four twenty choosing what he believes is the funniest answer, which is probably gonna be a squirmy slimy trouser snake, I'd imagine. <laughs> I mean, we're we're not exactly dealing with the the funniest of shit here, unfortunately. Sometimes you just got to throw a bad card away out of your hand if you don't think you're going to have uh, an appropriate time to use it or if it's too specific to to use more generally out of the answers. But it's a funny as shit game. You're on a time limit of 60 seconds to choose your answer uh, and 60 seconds. Yeah, I was right. And 60 seconds for the judge to decide. I dreamed that the secret to time travel was... <laughs> Devil's Lettuce is probably mildly true to some degree. <laughs> we'll, we'll go hacking into the mainframe. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a very silly game. Um, it's not too much fun when you're just kind of playing with randomers. But I've, I've said it two or three times at this point already. Play with your fucking friends. Have a few drinks. Get on Discord if you're not in the same room. It's, it's a shit ton of fun. I'm probably not doing it justice uh right here right now but you gotta trust me there i go got five coins i'll get more coins if i won the game which i do not care about right now but yeah i highly recommend that it's free on the ios and android store or uh, google play store and um, 100 go check it out it's a it's a fucking great time take care